Very good evening to you, Madison. Thank you very much for your time this evening. How big of a loss to South African athletics is the loss of Maris, of course, having held that record and competed in the 1996 Olympics? Yeah, it's, it's a tragedy. I mean, any, any loss of life is a tragedy, but the athletics fraternity is, is, is going to mourn Marius because he was the first guy to take the, the South African 800-meter record that had stood for 25 years um, and was able to break it. It belonged to Dickie Broberg. It was e equaled by uh, Marce Marce Marcelo Fiascanaro, uh, 144.7. And um, Marius van Heerden was, was the guy who broke it. It was an in the engine grand prix final back in 1996 in the old cape town athletic stadium where they still had the cycle track around it and, and the stadium was packed um, and I, I was one of the lucky guys to be there i was working and i was in the mix zone and you know even thinking about it now i still get goosebumps but um you know nobody expected him to break it he was always one of those guys who was challenging was challenging ezekiel was challenging you on and there's a whole host of other atrium athletes but Ezekiel, or Zeke's, if you want to call him that, was, was the golden boy. He was the guy that was expected to break the record. And just a week before that race in which Van Yeden and which Marius broke the SA record, Ezekiel went for it um, and didn't quite make it. He ran 144.96 in Pretoria. And a week later, Marius Van Heerden goes and takes it. And, and I saw a very touching uh, Facebook post today from Ezekiel Sapeng paying tribute to, to Marius and, and saying, you know, it was absolute great racing against you. We were great friends. We were great rivals. It was incredible watching you take that 800 meter record. It was that evening Ezekiel had run the 1500 and he had to sit there and watch how Marius Van Heerden took the record, which was, to all intents and purposes, actually Ezekiel's. Um, and then he went on to say, it was also a great pleasure to take the record from you. Yeah. Um, it, 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 you know, for, for South African athletics, it's, it's a big loss, it's a big tragedy. tragedy. I mean, we have, we have a good few, we've got a number of heroes and so on, and, and mm. Marius was one of those trailblazers. So, yeah, sad, very, very sad story. Manfred, did he live up to his potential? Um, we know Ezekiel getting the silver medal yeah. in Atlanta, but of course he's not a medaler, is, or was, was, was Marius. Did he live up to his potential? I don't think so, actually. He was one of the hardest working athletes I've seen. He, he, he was never scared to take on, on, on uh, you know, take on the opposition. Um, and you always knew if Marius was in the race, you had a race on your hands. Yeah. Um, but he was dogged by injury. Um, and we all thought that that 144.59 that he ran to break the SA record, yeah. that was the breakthrough. And then shortly after that, it was just one injury after another repeatedly. I mean, he got to the Atlanta Olympics that year. Yeah. He got to the World Championships a year later. But he, he, no, I, I don't think he actually, he was one of those that just dogged by bad luck, dogged by injury, and, and just never really fulfilled what he, what he could have done. It was, a, it was a golden era of 800-meter racing, and, yeah. and Ezekiel was obviously the pinnacle at that stage. 800-meter racing in South Africa has now become Casta Semenya. When you speak 800 meters, you speak the queen yeah. of, of 800 meters in the world now. Will yeah. we ever have the golden generation of men in that distance? Look, we've, I mean, we keep saying this. We've been saying this for decades now. South Africa's got immense potential in the sport of athletics across a whole host of the disciplines. Um, that era, we had Ezekiel Sepeng, Marius van Heeren, Gideon van Oetzorn, Jochens Kotze, Meyer Kotze, Hendrik Mohanjetsi, um, and there were a couple of others who were like on the fringes. And these guys were all running 145 and breaking 145. Mm. Uh, Ezekiel went on to obviously set the record eventually of, of 142. And then a little bit later, Buleni Mulaotsi. I mean, he was the flag bearer at, and that's around about 2000 to 2003, 2004. Mm. In fact, a little bit later, he was world champion in 2009. But we never, ever have had that depth again that we had in the late 90s, early 2000s. Mm. And it doesn't make any sense because the athletes are there. Yeah. Whether it's they don't have the opportunities, and, and I do believe that's a big issue, whether it's if you look at that group of athletes at 800 meter squad, the only athlete that wasn't training with Ezekiel mm. was Marius. Um, and I believe if, if we, I mean, you look at, at, at uh, Stephen Mokoka, he trains, he's got his own group, the sponge group here in Tux, um, and he's doing really well. Yeah. Uh, uh, Mbuleli Matanga down in Durban's got a group, and they're doing well. Wherever we've got a group of athletes, they seem to do better. Yeah. And, and maybe that's what we need to do. We need to find a couple of good guys in the 800, 1500 meters and get them to train together and, and race together. Yeah. Manfred, thank you so much for your time.